What is up guys, it is Zeps and I am back with another video. This time I'll be doing a CDL tier maker uh, ranking the CDL teams and who I think is the best, who I think is the worst. Um, I thought this would be a fun video because uh, this gives you an insight of like my opinion, who I think is good in the league right now, who's bad. Now I am recording this after the kickoff classic, so my opinions are kind of based off of that uh, event. Um, even though it wasn't really, it didn't really mean anything. It was just kind of do it, do it for the storylines and stuff like that. But anyway, regardless, I am kind of basing it off that because that was the first real competition we've seen, uh, and I felt like teams took that more seriously than scrims. Uh, but I've been seeing some different stuff in scrims. Anyway, let's hop right into this one. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit that subscription button, and let's hop right into it. So. S tier, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll start with the S tier, we'll start with the S tier. So definitely, no doubt, Optic Chicago will be in the S tier. Now, they just absolutely dominated the LA Thieves. They looked like the most dominant team by far. Clean 3-0, uh, hard point was a little, it was it was a close hard point in the very first one, um, in like the beginning of the map, but then after like halfway point, they just kind of started running through them. The Search and Destroy was alright, but Optic definitely hold con held control the entire time. And then Control, yeah, they just dominated. So that's why I'm putting Optic Chicago. I think just like, they look like like mid-season form right now. And, and that was the kickoff classic. I just think they look so good. I don't really see them like falling off. Um, purely because they were just out slaying. Uh, it wasn't like they were they figured out something before all of the other teams. They were just flat out slaying everybody else, and that's why I think they're up there, and that's why I think they'll stay up there. So the second team, we'll just move down the line, uh, Paris Legion. This is a tough one. So they did, they didn't look terrible, um, as bad as I thought. So, but I will put them in the C tier. I don't really think they'll make a run at champs or anything like that. I think they'll stay in the middle of the pack. Um, but definitely a lot better. I would have definitely put them at D before the kickoff classic. But uh, after seeing them, um, they moved up to C here. Now, the LA Thieves. So this is where it gets a little interesting here. So I had them up there SA tier um, previously, like when I was just thinking about it before the kickoff classic. And then I saw the clean 3-0 from Optic. They looked like they were just getting dominated. They didn't even look like they were a pro team. It was really bad. Um, and then I saw a scrim between Optic and LA uh, that was, I think it was 250 to 38 and a hard point uh, in favor of Optic. Uh, so yeah, LA Thieves is not looking as good as I thought they would. Um, that being said, I do think the, they'll start to pick it up. Maybe go back into that S tier, A tier, but for now, I'm going to leave them in the B tier. Now, Toronto Ultra, they looked fantastic they they beat the minnesota rocker they actually looked a lot better than i thought i think they're very underrated honestly uh and that's why i am putting them at b tier now they honestly they could move up to a tier uh depending on how this first event goes but they looked very very good against the minnesota rocker now new york subliners they took on the uh dallas empire reigning champs that's that's tough uh clay and that squad did not look too good um afterwards clay said he wasn't really um taking it seriously but i don't know i mean maybe they're trying to get hydra back in the in the um on the team they had a, a sub diamond con after zuma dropped out um but yeah for right now i gotta put them in c tier they may move up throughout the season uh maybe they'll get like a little backing behind them get some momentum but as of now they're at the c tier for me Moving on to the Minnesota Rocker, thought they were going to be very, very good. They looked pretty good, um, but they did lose to Toronto Ultra. I, I was thinking these guys would maybe be in A tier, but I got to stick at B tier. Uh, they are definitely a good team, and they have a ton of potential. It's just kind of, I'm just kind of basing it off the kickoff classic. They did lose to Toronto, but I mean, they, they still look like a solid team. They could definitely make a run uh, at champs if, the, if they pick up just like throughout the season, pick up some momentum. Now the London Royal Ravens. Now this is an interesting one because they just picked up Parasite, uh, an AM that was uh, 
in and out of the league for a few years uh, back in the day. Um, I I got to put him at C tier. Uh, I, I mean, but if there was a between C tier and D tier, that's where I would stick them. But I am going to put them in C tier. You know what? No, I'll drop them down in D tier. Because, I mean, I won't give them the benefit of the doubt here. They did not look as good as I thought they would. And now they're having uh, roster issues. I don't think Parasite is the solution, but they signed him anyway. I don't know why, but hey, that's 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 why they got put down at D tier. We'll see how that goes. Now the next one is the Florida Mutineers. Now this may like maybe shock you, come as a surprise. I gotta put them at S tier. They upset Atlanta Phase. They just showed up. Oh my goodness. They, they just gave Atlanta FaZe a run for your money. Now, whether that was Atlanta FaZe being too cocky or just overlooking Florida or Florida Mutineers just being that good, I like the team that they have. Neptune is a very, very good player uh, up and coming. I like him a lot. Uh, that's why I had to put Florida up there. And, of course, they beat Atlanta FaZe. And Atlanta FaZe was no doubt the favorite coming into this, and they beat them. So I, I, I got to put them up there at S tier. Uh, next is the LAG. Again, did not look as bad as I thought they would. I thought they would be like a Paris trash. Uh, they were trash the last year in Modern Warfare, but I mean they didn't look as bad this year. <laughs> but I will put them at C tier, um, next to the Paris Legion uh, and the Subliners. I mean, again, this is a roster that could show me wrong, honestly, uh, and I hope so. But as of right now, they are going to C tier. Now, Dallas Empire. I think it's pretty easy going to S tier. They just looked phenomenal. They dominated the subliners, clean 3-0, no problem whatsoever. Um, and, I mean, they pretty much have the same squad except a loss of clay. But, I mean, in 4v4 environment, they are looking pretty strong. Now, Atlanta phase. They would be an S tier for me, but after that performance at the kickoff classic, I don't know why it's the old phase thing. I don't. I didn't make this tier list, but... Phase is definitely going into the A tier as of now. Now, I don't think this is permanent. I th I'm just basing this off of the kickoff classic. They should be at A tier after that performance. Um, but they, I mean, don't be surprised if they move up to S tier throughout the uh, year. They, they can definitely play. And now the Seattle Surge. Now, this is an interesting one. They, I don't know, man. They, they looked not as good as i thought they would for the roster that being said i am gonna put them at c tier not down at d tier they were in dead last last or they weren't last last year but they were absolutely trash um but i will put them at c again i i feel like they will move up to like a b tier um later in the year but as of now until they get their stuff together I got to put them at C. So this is my tier, uh, CDL, power rankings, uh, tier list, whatever you want to call it. I have in the S tier, the Optic Chicago. They look dominant. Florida Mutineers upset Atlanta Phase. And then a clean 3-0 from the Dallas Empire over the uh, New York Subliners. Then at the A tier, I have Atlanta Phase. Again, they can move straight up to S tier. Uh, in the B tier, I have the Los Angeles Thieves, the Toronto Ultra, and the Minnesota Rocker. Uh, all, all decent teams, honestly. Uh, Minnesota Rocker and Toronto Ultra definitely can move up to A. If LA Thieves keep playing like they are, they will stay in B and even drop to C. Uh, they are not playing well. And then in the C tier, kind of like the middle of the pack, uh, it's the Paris Legion, New York Subliners, LAG, and, uh, Seattle Surge. Again, um, LAG could move up, Seattle could move up, the Subliners can move up, even Paris, like, anybody from this team can move up. Uh, just after the kickoff classic that I'm leaving them at C and D I don't know this team's in shambles right now uh, they didn't perform well at the kickoff classic and now they're picking up parasite that hasn't been in the league since I don't even know like they're, they're just I feel like they're just in shambles but anyway that is the tier list if you want to see more CDL content like this uh, just let me know leave it down in the comments below and I definitely will make sure you hit that subscription button as well as the notification bell to get notified every time i drop a video it means a lot also can you hit that like button for me helps me out with the uh youtube algorithm but other than that guys that's all i have for you and i'll see you in the next one